Chilling new details about the Idaho murders. Police say the suspect's DNA was found at the scene. Cell phone data shows the suspect had been in the area near the victim's home about a dozen times. Reporter Michelle Fisher joining us live with these shocking new revelations. Michelle. Well, Mark, tonight still a lot of unanswered questions like a motive, also any possible connection between the suspects and the victims, and also why it took those surviving roommates nearly eight hours after the crime to contact police. But with the release of this new affidavit does come some incredible insight and disturbing details. Police saying they feel strongly this was a targeted attack. Brian Koberger made his first court appearance today, a judge reading off the charges against the 28-year-old accused of murdering four University of Idaho students. Count two alleges that you committed the felony offense of murder in the first degree. We learned chilling new details of the murders today with the release of an 18-page probable cause affidavit outlining what happened the night of November 13th and the case against Koberger. According to court documents, DNA on a military-style knife sheath found at the murder scene linked Koberger to the crime through a DNA profile of his father's, police obtaining the samples from trash found at their family home in Pennsylvania. Also, a first-hand account from one of two surviving roommates who told police she was woken up around 4 a.m. and heard who she believed was victim Kaylee Gonsalves say, there's someone here. That same roommate then hearing cries from Zana Cronado's room and a male say, it's okay, I'm going to help you. She told police she opened her door and came face to face with a masked man in black clothing who walked toward her as she stood frozen, describing him as five feet ten or taller, not very muscular but athletically built with bushy eyebrows he left out of a sliding door. The affidavit also points to cell phone data linking Koberger to the off-campus house where the four students were murdered, his cell phone reportedly pinging near the home at least 12 times before the murders and the morning after. Police say the phone was off at the time of the murders, which they believe was between 4 a.m. to 425. And lastly, Koberger's white Hyundai Elantra, seen on surveillance video four times the night of the murders, according to the court documents. And interestingly enough, five days after the crime, Koberger actually switched over the registration on that Elantra from Washington, or from Pennsylvania, rather, which the registration was set to expire at the end of November, and then changed the plates to Washington, where he was a Ph.D. student. Right now, he is being held without bail and is set to be back in court a week from today. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.